What's up, humanity? This is Giovanni DeVicente in a new episode of Worldwide Opinions. And today, we're going to ask the people about natural disasters. High above the ground on cloud nine ten and fitting I'm not found. I'm flying up looking down at your galaxy over niggas heads like a god heavenly. Who you telling me, JD Worldwide? Alright, check this out. So with all these natural disasters going on in the world, like Hurricane Harvey, wrecking Houston, and the Houston coastline causing massive flooding, causing gas to shut down. And Hurricane Irma causing mayhem in Florida. And Hurricane Jose and Maria wrecking the Caribbeans. And the Hurricane Jose may reach northeast of the United States soon. And it's not just hurricanes. It's earthquakes on the west coast like the recent earthquake in Mexico with a magnitude of 8.2 killing 62 people. It made me think about how Southern California is due for the big one. So... It made me think about preparing and wondering who else is prepared if only 60% of Americans are not prepared for an emergency, then I should help bring awareness because these stats are crazy. And when stuff gets crazy, people mob, people steal. So what you need to know, according to FEMA, only 39% of respondents have developed an emergency plan. And 80% of Americans live in counties that have been hit with a weather-related disaster since 2007. So, what you should do is be informed, know your community, know your environment. So this is common sense. Have plans, have food, water prepared, develop a household emergency plan, discuss it with your family members. Set aside supplies. And yeah. What I also found interesting was that um, the National Center for Disaster and Preparedness at Columbia University conducted a survey that stated uh, about 65% of Americans' households do not have adequate plans and supplies for disaster. This hasn't been changed since 2011. 41% are not confident that their community has adequate plans in place for a disaster that occurs with no warning. 51% are not confident in the ability of government. You should never depend on the government to meet the needs of children in disaster. And 37% are not confident in their community's ability to meet the needs of children. 35% of households with children are not familiar with their schools, evacuation, and emergency plans. And 41% do not know to what location their children would be evacuated. So yeah, it's better to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. With things like Hurricane Irma happening in Florida and the earthquake that just happened in Mexico, let's see what the people have to say about that. Check it out. Are you prepared for a natural disaster? I think I am. How are you prepared? I got food stored, and that's about all you need is food and water, I believe. I'm confident that uh, mentally I'm ready. <laughs> I don't have any physical preparations. Uh, not right now, no. There's, I've been given no indication that there's any, there's been any imminent, imminent danger uh, to us. So that the only danger that I know of are the Category 5 hurricanes down uh to the uh, southeast and the south uh, and the northeast so that's all I know about. No I am trying to become prepared actually um, after seeing all the stuff that's been going on I've been trying to educate myself on survival techniques and stuff like that if like we don't have power or, uh, food coming in or anything like that I'm trying to look into how to handle myself in those situations. No I don't believe you're ever able to really say prepare for one because you never know when it's going to come. But when that moment does come, I believe I will be properly prepared. So what would you do in an earthquake? I think my first step would to be, um, you know, just go to 
you know, it'd be mobbing to, to, you know, stores and stuff like that. But, um, I think I'd try to go and get, um, food and water, um, to start off. I think those would be the first basic provisions that someone needs to get. And then I'd try to leave the area, um, try to get away from the, the epizone as far as possible. It depends on the type of quake, but the main thing is if you're inside, you, you know you got to get outside or or get under a, a su- support column where stuff's not going to fall on you. Uh, my first priority would be getting a lot of water and non-perishable food um, and then trying to, you know, get figure out a plan with my family and um, to make sure that we'd all be together in a safe location would probably be my first priority. I would go to my place of residence and make sure my family members are safe and secure and we will go as far as possible to avoid the results of the earthquake. Have you ever been in a natural disaster before? (sighs) I've been in plenty of disasters but nothing natural. I've been pretty close to tornadoes as far as earthquakes just mild tremors. I haven't been in any major earthquakes. So what happened in the tornado? Uh, it, it got pretty close, got pretty scary, but it, it ended up not hitting the town, not coming our direction. So, so we was all right. Uh, how were you prepared then? When that happened, I was a little kid. I was about 16. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, that was a scary experience. No, sir, I haven't. I've been in an earthquake. Um, Nothing too severe, just a you know a little bit of rumbling. But uh, I think that's just part of Californian life. I don't think I've been part of a, a natural disaster quite yet. Hopefully, uh, I don't experience that. But uh, yeah, just hoping for the best. Uh, I have not, thankfully, so far. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.